Yeah. We want to move. Already. Yeah. Let's move on to a different sport because baseball season. Go Giants. We'll see right here. Go Giants. Coming up pretty soon here. But, I mean, we don't want to talk too much about the roster yet. There's still a lot of big free agent names out there. We're waiting for the everything to kind of be finalized. Teams get going. But the jerseys. If you guys have not seen these new jerseys with Fanatics and everything, pause this really quick. Go and type in the Google new MLB jerseys, see-through pants. <laughs> and I hope what we're talking about comes up and not something inappropriate. But... How are you feeling about these baseball jerseys and the see-through pants? Uh, I think that was a, an interesting way to market. <laughs> I, I think that's pretty wild. But, um, yeah, I mean, not only are fans complaining, but players are complaining about the jerseys. One, they look cheaper. They're not stitched anymore. Instead, it's the, uh, the press-on. Uh, they look like fake jerseys they look even worse than fake jerseys they look like uh the giveaway jerseys that stadiums do and it just doesn't the font seems smaller and more rounded the uh mlb logo on the back is off the collar instead of on the collar it just doesn't look right to me it just just looks a little wonky yeah and this was like the last league where like basketball, they already ruined the jerseys. Like I was watching a, a Cavs game earlier, and their jerseys are terrible. It just says Cleveland in yellow, and it's red. Like there's no fun to it. There's no like authentic vintagey feel. Like baseball has very unique uniforms, and they always come out looking like sharp, pristine. Uh, the stitching, like the detail, and now you just like, blah. You just like threw up these fucking plain jerseys onto the field and the quality like the quality is like i could run down a big five right now and buy a youth jersey and like that's what these guys are playing with yeah man and yeah they've complained rob manfred has already come out and said well whoa 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 these are performance jerseys these are not visual jerseys these are performance jerseys We've already tried them out in the All-Star game previously, and everyone was, like, loving them, and they were saying that they was, this felt so great. Once you guys buy them and try them on, I'm sure you're going to understand what we're talking about. And my, like, thought was like, oh, yeah, I'm sure once I buy my jersey and I play fucking nine innings of baseball, I will actually – I'll feel really good about it. Until then, I'm going to think they suck. And so once I play my nine innings of my MLB game – I will know that, hey, these are good. I just love to put on my uh, – I, I love to put on my Logan Webb jersey and go hit the gym, you know? Yeah, performance. But it's like, dude, I get it. But if you're going to do go so far that way, then you need to have a distinction between actual like game jerseys and fan jerseys because, okay, like – what are we doing in these jerseys? Like, I'm not fucking, I'm not, I'm not doing performance. Like, just seeing the right side now. by I'm side. I'm going to slam so many fucking hot dogs and so many goddamn beers. I'm not going to be doing any athletic in my fucking jersey. But, like, just seeing the side by sides, the colors are blander now. Like, the names don't pop, the numbers don't pop. Uh, and then the pants, the pants are what the worst thing because you could see tucked in, like, the jersey going all the way down to their thighs. I know so, who was it? It was the Mariners. Why the Mariners were doing a media thing, and then you yeah, can see the Sh guys tucked in pants. Shohei, they did a photo shoot, oh, and yeah. you see his jersey. I think there was a Boston player, um, or maybe it was uh, Shane Bieber, Bieber, and uh, from behind you see like red underwear or red jersey or something, and so like fanatics trash, and uh, these Nike jerseys we need to figure out something different because it's already a huge failure. I don't know. I mean, again, I Manfred has already come out and said, Hey, it is what it is. Like you guys are going to get used to it. So I think that if you're someone who enjoys jerseys, I would go out on eBay right now and buy a bunch of old jerseys and just hold until people get sick of these and they want to pay. They want to overpay on jerseys and you could just make a profit it's just ridiculous like how 
good quality things were back in the day because all the like, expensive jerseys we used to buy were hand stitched, like NFL jerseys, hand stitched, uh, MLB. And now when you go to a stadium, like we went to the Niners game, it's like $300 for a printed jersey. And, and it so, doesn't even look right. Yeah, it looks a little off. Like the numbers are always like a little wonky. Um, so, yeah, the quality is not there anymore, but the price is going up. And so you expect fans to pay upwards of $200, $300, $400 for jerseys. And they just don't feel the same. They don't look the same. It's like almost wearing a T-shirt at this point. Yeah, it's, it's so stupid. I'm, I'm about done with it. Man. I'm just I'm only gonna go for vintage jerseys now. I mean I can't I can't cheer for any of the new players because jersey's not good enough. Sorry. No, I mean uh, I can't get uh I'll I'll just get a panda jersey. <laughs> Did you see him? He's looking good. I know he's looking slim as hell. Yeah, put him on the field. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a third place here for the Giants. I can feel it. Uh, they suck. Are we going opening day? I think we are. It's like thirty bucks right now. Fuck. 